On March 19, 2010, Benedict XVI wrote a long letter to the Catholics of Ireland on sexual abuse by clergy. In the letter, the Pope identified four factors that have worsened this crisis. The poor selection of candidates for the priesthood, insufficient moral and spiritual formation in seminaries, the social tendency to protect clergy, a mistaken concern for the reputation of the church and to avoid scandals, which leads to a failure to apply the canonical penalties and the failure to safeguard the dignity of the victims as human beings. For decades, we had a culture in which protecting the good name of the church meant we have to keep this in-house, and we had a tribal morality within the clerical club that said that keeping the struggling members of that club afloat is the most important moral duty we've got, which meant that we forgot about the moral concerns of the children, their parents, their families, the entire church, and the broader community. For too many years, more credibility has been given to a priest's testimony than to that of the victims. Extreme cases of this appeared in the report published in Ireland when the police decided to alert the accused priest instead of arresting him. La cosa principale è che possono sentirsi ascoltati, che possono sentirsi anche presi sul The main thing is that they feel heard, taken seriously, not undervalued. Not to hear, we don't believe you, you're making things up. Unfortunately, that's what many bishops have done, to conceal and transfer the priest from one place to another, spreading the evil they were committing.